Okay, we are here doing the clean out for the 500 grit. So that's what we're here doing. Okay, I've got separate barrels for the polish. I'll clean these up really good later. Now this is part of the reason why I use borax because they clean up so much easier. So there's a little bit of a shine on them, but not very much. But I'm just going to try to get this a little bit better of a shine with the polish for the next round. And I'm going to call it good because I know that this, this material is very hard to do. This is a better polish than I got with the rotary tumblers going all the way through polish. So I'm actually pretty happy with this. I know it could be better, but this is better than anything else I've done so far. And this is only at the end of 500 grit. So, And if somebody knows how to come up with a funnel that would fit inside this better than a milk carton, put a link in, put, let me know in the description below because I'd really like to get a full size funnel. I tried the type for, that you use for canning, for processing food that go inside uh, mason jars. And those are the wrong size. They do not fit inside here. They only mount, only set rest on top. So looking for a funnel that would fit in there that you could still dump rocks in. So if you know one, Leave a comment below in the description. So, the first one's done. Let's get the second one here done. Now this one here is even looking better than the first. Thank you. 
Okay. We are going to go ahead and get these cleaned up. And I'm running out of daylight, so I'm not going to spend too much time out here showing you guys the cleaning process. But I'll clean these up later after I'm done with you guys. Okay, I'm going to get them all cleaned up for you and then we're going to set you up under some good lights and we're going to take a look at how well these shined up. Okay, here is the results. A lot of these were damaged when we picked them up, so unfortunately, that's how it is when you're rock hunting. Not every one of them is perfect, but they're all just right. Threw a couple oddballs in there too. Look at the color in that. Even threw an agate in there. One with uh, encased in quartz, so a little bit of jasper, the rest of it's all quartz. Mustard jasper, well that one turned out really nice and smooth. That polished up really good. And then this one here, look at the colors in that. Again, another one of those that's really nice and smooth. Now, overall, this green jasper is adequate. If you compare this to this, much, much better than the green. In everything I've, I've came across, that green jasper is very tough to tumble. And this is the best I have ever gotten it. Okay, let's compare. This pieces I just put up here is how this was a week ago. Actually, it was six days ago. So this is right out of the medium grit.
So there you go. My green Jasper project is completed. Glad you guys could come along for the ride with this one and uh, see how I do all this. And again, for green Jasper, this is turning out quite nice. But it's not quite as good as what the other types of Jasper are. But it exceeded my expectations. And that's what's important. My expectations were far exceeded on how, the, how well this turned out. So, there you go, everybody. Just remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine in the shop. Under approved lighting. This is the Adventures of Jaws Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya! <laughs>